like the Source Fit Nerd, I'm your pilot, Sam Basher. And I'm Whitney Moore. Hey, Sam, how long are you going to wear that pilot suit for? I'm going to wear it until it threads and then it falls apart and it shreds off my body. I don't know why people don't wear these all the time. You got pants and a shirt and one thing. I got eight pockets. I got pockets near my feet. I even have a name tag right here so that nobody's ever going to forget my name. I feel like we had a better fashion sense when we were toddlers because it was just so much easier. I have a two zippers, one for the crotch oh. and one for the boobs. Oh. Wow. 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 Yeah, you're right. I'm actually pretty jealous and hungry. Oh, don't worry. I already ordered some SF Nerd exclusive jumpsuits. That way we can look like a superhero team. Ooh, like the X-Men? Ooh, exactly. Thank you so much for that totally improv segue to the topic of today's <laughs> video, the new X-Men TV series. Hell yeah. To get you all up to speed, Fox now has the AAOK -okay to start making X-Men TV shows. That was a big no-no uh, for many years, but now we've got Legion on FX, which is fucking amazing, and now we're getting an in-universe show on Fox. Ooh, we've heard some rumors about casting and confirmations for casting and a few other details here and there. But now it's time for two of your favorite nerds and one of your favorite wannabe pilots to round up all the info and break it down. The rough synopsis of the show, now under the working title Gifted, follows two ordinary parents who discover their children possess... Possess? Possess. Possess powers. <laughs> their children possess mutant powers. Forced to go on the run from a hostile government, the family joins up with an underground network of mutants and must fight to survive. Ooh, and an underground network of mutants sounds a lot like the Morlocks, which are an underground network of mutants in New York in the comics. Hooray! Hey. Now on to the cast, we got Amy Acker, who is set to play Kate Stewart, a woman who is struggling with her separation from her husband, Reed, and her increasingly challenging teenage children. And according to The Hollywood Reporter, when her family situation takes a dark turn, she finds that she's stronger than she thinks. Super Ooh. strength, super strength, super strength. That sounded pretty nice. Then we've got Emma Dumont playing the magnetic manipulator Polaris, aka Laura Dane. Better give her the green hair, mm -hmm. or I'm protesting. Give her the green hair. Give her the green hair. Hey, give her the green hair. Natalie Allen Lind is going to be one of the central mutant kids. Very vague, but exciting. Ooh, and then for you Burn Notice fans, aka my dad, Cody Bell is playing the unconfirmed character who, quoting The Hollywood Reporter again, quietly wrestles with the moral ambiguities of a job that regularly requires cold blooded calculating efficiency on a day to day basis. Ooh, sounds like he's going to be one of them bad boys. Or a kick ass account. Hell yeah. Sean Taylor is going to be playing a mutant specifically created for the show called Eclipse. He's going to have the power to absorb and manipulate photons. That sounds sciencey. <laughs> Fuck it, sciencey. Yeah. Stephen Moyer of True Blood fame is playing Reed, a mysterious lawyer who is the estranged husband of Amy Acker's character. And Sam's future wife, Jamie Chung, is set to play Blink. Oh my god, I love her so babe. much. I want to, she can just teleport right into my heart. We did see Bing Bing Fam play Blink in Days of Future Past, and she did a pretty good job. I'm just really excited to see Jamie in an X-Men role. God, it's so beautiful. She's very, she she's very pretty. She's a babe. Hey, I love Bing Bing, though. Ah, she's really she's good. She's great. Anybody else? Uh, well, we also got news that Blair Redford will be playing somebody named Sam. Not you. Uh. He's described as the strong-headed Native American leader of the underground network. Definitely not this boy. A lot of outlets are speculating that this could maybe be John Proudstar, a.k.a. Thunderbird. Ooh, one of the founding X-Men and giant-sized X-Men. That's pretty cool, if you ask me. He's got super strength, super stamina, and he's a top-notch fighter. Yeah, this cast is looking pretty sweet, and I'm excited to not only get nods to the previous X-Men movies, but also the creation of new characters who are original to the show that we can learn about and love and get attached to and then be sad when they die. Oh, he'll definitely die. Showrunner Matt Nick seems extremely excited and dedicated to this project, so fingers crossed that this show turns out good. Production is beginning soon, and while it will be fun to get mentions of other X-Men, who would you want to make an appearance on this show? Hmm. Other X-Men, you say? Yeah. What about Phantom X? Ooh, this dude's an awesome fighter. He's got kick-ass costumes, he can cast illusions, and he's got three brains inside of him. Three! It'd be pretty cool to see him in the X-Force movie, but he could be awesome on the show. I'd love seeing him there, but I also wouldn't mind giving Dazzler some screen time. She's an extremely popular X-Men character and her ability to convert sound into light beams and such could be a really fun visual for the show. Also, cast Whitney as Dazzler. Fun fact, always wanted to play Dazzler. Let's get a petition going. Cast Whitney as Dazzler. Cast Whitney as Dazzler. Cast Whitney as Dazzler. Oh, Forge would be a fan favorite character and a change of pace from the other X-Men we've been seeing. He can invent basically anything and I'm always game for new tech. Ooh, I want some futuristic tech. Okay, anyways, these are all fun and good, but I think who we really need for the show is gold balls. Gold balls? Gold balls. He can make gold balls manifest in the air. Can't get much cooler than that. Sure, maybe some mutants can like time travel or whatever, but yeah, gold balls can make balls. 
You're welcome. Well, this doesn't sound like an all-star team. Especially gold balls. That's true, but maybe we should turn to you all. Who would you like to see stumble their way onto Gifted or whatever the show is going to be called? Write your casting dweens down below. Hey, if you want to smack a sweet design onto your beautiful body, go ahead and check out 4humanpeoples.com. They have phone cases, shirts, tank tops, and hoodies for both men and women in a selection of endless designs, including source-fed inspired apparel like this. Ooh, and this. Ooh, and this. Oh, you look great in that. Oh, well, thank you so much. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you kids tomorrow. Bye. <laughs> I thought that was supposed to be directed at our audience, but you would also look great in that. Thank you. <laughs> Something. Oh my god, I almost puked. Okay. Oh man, I almost puked. Okay. Could you, oh. That's my tip. I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's start at the beginning for Nightwing, except he wasn't Nightwing. He was just good old Dick Grayson, the first sidekick to Batman, aka Sweet Little Robin.